Hello everyone, in this video we will see how can we pass parameters for creation of new record via URL. This might be required by you for example if you want to provide link into your ServiceNow form and from there user can go ahead and create new records directly with some of the parameters for example you provided a link on the change form for creating a new incident and as soon as the user clicks on that link he will be redirected to a new tab where some of the fields will be pre-filled and a new incident form will be presented as well let's quickly see how this url works you will have to give your instance name dot service dot com and then the URI equal to the table name and you have to give the backend name of the table in our case it's incident.do and then you have to give sys id equals to minus one minus one represents to create a new record and then percentage 26 uh, is the ampersand sign and then you will have to give sys param query equal to the name of the column which you want to pre-populate let's take an example of short underscore description equal to network issues and if we give short description as network issue and go to this url a new incident form should open with the short description as network issue let's quickly try this i'm currently logged in into service now i'll go here and i'll replace the instance name with current pdi instance name and i'll keep everything same as it is and as soon as i hit enter you can see the short description has been pre-populated and now what if you have to pass multiple parameters you can use the similar uh, url with and sign here and the second column name which is the backend name and we are using caller underscore id and we can also use javascript as well or we can or we could have used the sys id of the caller or you can again in case of choice field use the backend value for example for state one two three four let's try caller id as well now and now i will open a new tab and notice how in our previous example caller id wasn't populated i'll add a new tab and again i will give my instance name and i will press enter and as soon as i do that these two values should be pre-populated and you can see caller has been pre-populated as system administrator and short description is network issue I hope this short video was helpful to you. Please let me know in comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video.